Hey there! This is Pateo and in this spotlight we're not looking at a deck, but at the upcoming changes happening with the end of the Year of the Mammoth. In the next Hearthstone year, the Year of the Raven, three expansions are rotating out of the standard format card pool. These expansions are... Whispers of the Old Gods, One Night in Karazhan, and Mean Streets of Gadgetzan. This leaves the standard card pool with the following expansions. Journey to Ungoro, Knights of the Frozen Throne, and Kobolds and Catacombs. Plus whatever new expansions we get in the Year of the Raven. In total, 314 cards will be rotating out, 311 from expansions and 3 cards will be moved from the classic set to the Hall of Fame. In this video I will highlight the card rotations that, in my opinion, will have the most impact on the meta. I'm sure I will miss or not mention some things, so feel free to leave additions or spark discussions in the comment section below. So without any further ado, let's get started. Druid With the Jade mechanic completely rotating out, Jade Druid is definitely gone from standard. But other decks are affected as well, since two widely used ramp cards, Jade Blossom and Mire Keeper, will be missed. Aggro Druid will take a hit, not only because of the earlier patches nerf, but also because strong cards like Enchanted Raven, Mark of Isharge and Mark of the Lotus are rotating out. The absence of Fendril Staghelm will also be noticed in a lot of Druid decks. Hunter Hunter decks involving death rattles will miss some solid minions. Also Alley Cat, the one drop that is used in most Hunter decks, will rotate out. Spell Hunter and Secret Hunter are going to lose some of their tools with Cat Trick and Call of the Wild, but overall should be able to compensate. If you're thinking, wait, what about Barnes and Isharge? Then you're right, that is a huge loss, but I don't think that it will kill the archetype completely. Mage Tempo, Aggro and Secret Mage will take the biggest hits for Mage with a rotation. The loss of Medivh's Valet, Cabal Crystal Runner and Cabal Lackey as well as Firelands Portal will be difficult to compensate. Exodia Mage will lose some card generating tools needed to fulfill a quest. Missing Babbling Book and Cabalist's Tome will make that harder to achieve. In addition to Firelands Portal, Big Spell Mage is losing Medivh which adds great value to the deck. It's also notable that Volcanic Potion, a great tool against aggro, is rotating out. Though the biggest hit for Mage in general will be not having a second and third chance to live since Iceblock will join the Hall of Fame. Paladin With Vilefin Inquisitor, Finja and Grimscale Chum, Paladin loses some of its Murloc synergy. For OTK Paladin, the future looks very grim, since both Beardo and Burgly Bully are rotating out. Also, Control Paladin will be missing Forbidden Healing, Ragnaros Lightlord and Anzoth. The rotation of Rallying Blade, Steward of Darkshire and Stand Against Darkness will affect Silverhand Recruit, aka Dude Paladin, though other Paladin decks will also feel the missing Rallying Blade. One amusing notion for Paladin is the indirect nerf of Holy Wrath by undoing the nerf of Molten Giant and moving it to the Hall of Fame. Priest The Raza nerf has already killed Highlander Priest, but a few other staple Priest cards are in the rotation, Potion of Madness and Cabal Talon Priest being two good examples of this. A lot of Dragon Synergies will be taking their leave in the new year such as Nether Spite Historian, Dragonet Operative, Dragonfire Potion and Deathwing Dragonlord. The rotation of Barnes and Isharge, Dragonfire Potion, Pint Sized Potion, Shadow Word Horror and Greater Healing Potion more or less ends Big Priest. Also Quest and Control Priest take a hit with losing Shifting Shade, Priest of the Feast and Enzoth. Rogue Aside from the patches nerf and rotation, Quest Rogue will be less consistent because of the absence of Gadgetzan Ferryman. 
Miracle Rogue will lose Counterfeit Coin, one of its combo activators, and Kingsbane Rogue will miss the weapon buff from South Sea Squid Face. Also, Cold Light Oracle, joining the Hall of Fame, will leave a gap of card draw in some rogue decks, especially the mill versions. Shaman The only Shaman deck with some relevance at the moment will lose some core cards due to the rotation. Evolve, Devolve and Doppelgangster are all on their way out. Other strong cards like Jade Claws, Thing From Below, Flame Wreaths Faceless, Maelstrom Portal and Jade Lightning are also taken away from Shaman. Warlock Warlock is one of the classes not being impacted too heavily in the current meta. Discard Lock takes a hit with Malkazar Imp, Darkshire Librarian and Silverware Golem. Zulok loses Patches, Possessed Villager, Darkshire Councilman, Forbidden Ritual, Malkazar Imp and Blood Fury Potion. The rotations most relevant to the meta are Mistress of Mixtures, Abyssal Enforcer and Medivh leaving Control or Cube Warlock. Also of note, one of the most fun cards in Hearthstone is leaving Standard. Bye bye Renounced Darkness. Warrior With a rotation of Enzoth's first mate, Bloodsail Cultist and Patches, Pirate Warrior is pretty much dead. Control Warrior suffers from losing cards like Ravaging Ghoul, Medivh, Enzoth, Malkarok and Sleep with the Fishes. Big Recruit Warrior will mourn the loss of Sagoth, Deathwing Dragonlord, Isharge, Ironforge Portal and Sleep with the Fishes. Also, Taunt Warrior takes a hit, with the Curator, Bloodhoof Brave and Ali Armorsmith being gone. Neutral Cards Some of these have been mentioned before, but they deserve a special segment. The old gods are rotating out of standard. Yogg-Saron, the god of RNG, found its way into some Tempo Mage and other spell-heavy decks, but his absence will not be noticed much in the current meta. Cthun and his worshippers will be wild exclusive. So no more Cthun Druid, Cthun Warrior and any other Cthun deck. Isharge will leave a gap in decks specializing in big minions like Big Druid, Big Priest, Big Recruit Warrior or decks like Spell and Secret Hunter. Enzoth, the god of death, will no longer be with us in standard. This impacts a lot of control decks which used him as a late game comeback. Examples of this are Control Paladin, Quest Priest, Control Warlock and Cube Lock. Other notable neutral rotations are Barnes. His unique effect is used and sometimes abused in a number of decks. Arcane Giant. A great asset to spell heavy decks and sometimes used in miracle combos. Medivh. Adds value to control decks all over the meta. Dirty Rat. Feared by every combo deck and can sometimes backfire though. Hall of Fame As mentioned before, the classic cards Cold Light Oracle, Molten Giant and Ice Block will enter the Hall of Fame and will no longer be available in standard format. Additionally, Timeless Decks I think it is important to mention that some archetypes will most likely always be viable in some form or another due to their universal concepts and basic cards. These include, but are not limited to, Zulok, Midrange Hunter, Midrange Paladin, Control Paladin, Control Priest, Control Warrior, Freeze Mage, though Ice Block is a heavy loss, Tempo Mage, Ramp Druid, Miracle Rogue, until Auctioneer enters the Hall of Fame. Thank you for watching this video. You're welcome to comment and start discussions in the comment section below. For more Hearthstone as well as other games simply subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click that little notification bell. This has been Pateo, see you next time and bye bye.